Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Smokeless UMAF, a BIOS tweaking tool for AMD laptops. This tool will allow you to unlock extra options within your laptop's BIOS that you can't usually do to overclock your CPU, increase GPU VRAM, and other options that are only found on AMD desktops. This tool is very useful for modding, tweaking, or increasing your laptop's performance, such as for gaming through VRAM. You can also change some settings related to Hackintosh. The first step will be to create a USB using the tools. So go to the GitHub page and download the Universal AMD form browser zip file. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip the folder and also go ahead and plug in a USB drive to your computer. Once you've extracted it, make sure the USB is formatted in FAT32 and make sure the USB drive is also empty before formatting it. Click format and then everything can be set to default and go ahead and click OK. Then open the USB and then go to the downloads folder and then go back and copy all the folders. Your USB drive should look like this after you're done. Once it's done, you go ahead and eject and then plug it into the laptop that you're going to be using this on. It must be an AMD laptop. Now for the more difficult part, booting the USB and changing the settings. Go ahead and plug the USB to your laptop and make sure all the files are there. Once you've confirmed that, go ahead and click the Windows button and then press and hold shift while clicking restart. If you did that correctly, you'll see a please wait screen and then you'll be greeted with this blue screen here. Click troubleshoot, advanced options, and then firmware settings, and then click restart. This will go to our system BIOS where we can boot the USB. Go to the boot section and every laptop's boot section will look different, but here make sure that the add section has the USB drive and not your Windows system drive. If you have a Dell BIOS, you can follow the directions on screen. Make sure you find the EFI folder of the boot device and select that. Once it's done, you should boot into the USB and you'll be greeted with a screen such as this. You'll see three options, device manager, boot manager, and boot maintenance manager. For now, I'll be showing the device manager as this will give us access to all the settings. Here you will see AMD, PBS, and CBS. These two options are similar to how they are on AMD desktop and you can find a bunch of different settings here. For these, I recommend Googling what each of these settings does and how it can improve performance on your device. I will not be showing all the settings. For now, I'll be going to AMD CBS and then going to the NBIO common options. Here you can find the GFX configuration or graphics configuration, and here you can change the amount of VRAM your system has. By default, it's usually set to auto, and your GPU will have 512 megabytes of RAM. This is usually not enough for gaming tasks on the iGPU. So you can either select Game Optimized or UMA Specified, and then select the amount of the frame buffer you want. I'm going to go with 2 gigabytes, as this is a good balance for playing esports titles such as Valorant or League, and as well as video editing. If you want more system RAM, you can decrease this option and have less VRAM dedicated to the GPU. To exit, you can go ahead and click Escape and then Y to save, and then you can go all the way back until you see Continue. Then you can go ahead and hit Enter and then Restart. If you restart back into the USB drive rather than Windows, after clicking restart, I recommend just unplugging the USB and you should automatically boot into Windows. If you don't see that, you can go to the BIOS and select the Windows Boot Manager again. If you get this screen on your Dell laptop, you can always click escape. There's nothing to worry about, the system is just confused. After a couple seconds, you should boot back into Windows. To check whether the changes apply, we can check in Task Manager. As you can see in Task Manager, you can go to the performance setting and our system memory will be less since we dedicated more to the GPU, but on the GPU dedicated section you will see 2GB now. 